Good morning, welcome to NYNJPA Weather, your weather source for the Northern Atlantic. I'm meteorologist Stephen DiMartino, and we have an interesting snow event setting up for New York City. Let's take a look at the latest information. This is our current surface map, and you can see the high pressure is settling over the Northern Atlantic, but it will be exiting later on. And we have several areas of low pressure that are moving towards the region. We have one off the southeast coast that will continue to exit out into the Atlantic, another area of low pressure that is starting to intensify over the Great Lakes, and a third one over the Northern Plains. Now the one off the east coast, that will continue to exit out into the Atlantic, but will still have some lingering effects in basically setting up a lower pressure area off the New Jersey coast. And then we have our other two areas of low pressure that will start to intensify phase and also develop an area help de develop an area of low pressure off the New Jersey coast. Now, let's take a look at the water vapor satellite picture because I think you'll see a clear reason as to why this snowfall will develop for New York City. What I have circled in black is the development of a strong disturbance that will drive through the Tennessee River Valley and then move up along the New Jersey coast. Now, that's important. The orientation of this disturbance will, will move from north to south to west to east. What that means is that the strongest lifting at the mid and upper levels will start to shift over New Jersey from moving north to south, let's say along the Delaware River, to moving west to east, south of Long Island. And that's very key because it starts to enhance the mesoscale dynamics or the low level lifting that you'll need to set up a very intense snow band over Long Island. And it, this forecast is extremely volatile because we have to basically trust the model guys to a point in, in the handling of this disturbance. If there's any shift west or east, there's a dramatic change in the snowfall totals for New York City, for New Jersey, even for Philadelphia. However, right now, I feel rather confident on where I think the mesoscale banding will set up for this event on Friday morning on through early Saturday morning. So here's the uh, snowfall map that I have in place. For portions south of Philadelphia, uh, especially southern New Jersey, around Lake City, Cape May, New Jersey, uh, around Lancaster, I'm looking only up to two inches at most with this uh, setup. Uh, you will see some snow showers on Friday morning, on tomorrow morning, but for the most part, you'll miss the brunt of this steady snowfall. I, I can see up to two inches, but that's about it. Between Philadelphia and Trenton, and including much of uh, Burlington, Ocean County, and Southern Monmouth County, and then back northwest towards uh, Redding, I'm looking anywhere from two to four inches of snow. Most locations will be around 2 inches, but uh, as this band begins to intensify, some locations could push up to 4 inches. Now, this is where it gets interesting. From central New Jersey, roughly Monmouth County and uh, central Mercer County, on northward uh, through much of northeastern Pennsylvania and much of northern and northwestern New Jersey, and then continuing on through the Hudson Valley and northern Connecticut, I'm looking anywhere from 3 to 6 inches of snow. Now, this is where the mesoscale banding really starts to intensify, and you'll see pockets of uh, heavier snowfall. Most locations will see 3 inches, but then you'll get these bullseye areas of 6 inches every so often. And it's really difficult to, pin to pinpoint where these areas of heavier snowfall will set up, but any one of these locations in the shading of 3 to 6 will have the potential to see snowfall up to 6 inches if you get under one of those heavier bursts of snow. As we move towards the New York City metropolitan area, I have anywhere from 4 to 8 inches, and that cuts up through central Connecticut. Again, most locations will be around that 4 to 5 inch range, but anywhere with that burst of moderate snow from these uh, convective bands of snowfall sets up, you can easily drive up to 8 inches of snowfall. Now, then, I uh, have 6 to 12 inches over much of southern Connecticut. Uh, portions of the um, what, of the eastern portions of the New York City metropolitan area, you're talking about Queens, uh, and then you move up towards the southern Hudson Valley, and of course Long Island. I have anywhere from 6 to 12 inches of snow. This is where things get really interesting, because you have a combination of low-level forcing, mid-level forcing, and, and upper-level forcing, that strong disturbance, all combining and focusing in this region. Now, I expect a band from north to south to set up 
over portions of this area and then it'll basically track to the east and this band will be amplified because all of these features will be coming together at just the right time to produce a heavy snowfall. Now I'm expecting most locations will be around a 6 inch mark but where this band really sets up and explodes where convective snowfall will be possible some locations will be able to reach 10 possibly even 12 inches of snow it won't be widespread but there will be pockets and it's very difficult to forecast that's why when you set up these these snowfall maps you can't really put pockets of 12 inches here and there it's impossible to forecast for but the point is that these locations have the best threat for heavy snowfall for most locations I expect the snowfall to start light in the morning at around 7 a.m. Uh, and then intensify as we continue on through the afternoon. The afternoon evening rush hour for New York City metropolitan area is going to be ugly with moderate to heavy snowfall. The heaviest snowfall will end early Saturday morning over the New York City metropolitan area and late Friday over afternoon to port areas south and west. The snow will be pretty much over by mid-morning on Saturday, so uh, if you have plans on Saturday afternoon or evening, I wouldn't cancel them right now. Just use some caution when driving because we know the roads are going to be a bit treacherous. Other than that, high pressure will build in for Sunday, Monday, and Monday night. But then things get interesting for Tuesday. Let's take a look at the latest GFS model guidance from the Penn State E-Wall. This is the GFS guidance for uh, basically Tuesday evening. And you can see there's a very powerful area of low pressure off the New Jersey coast that will produce very heavy snowfall for the region, possibly. Now, this forecast for Tuesday afternoon on through Wednesday morning is going to depend on a lot of factors. There's a lot of models pointing towards a heavy snowfall, but I still have some questions as to whether this storm will be further east out in the Atlantic or not. Let me show you the 500 millibar pattern and I'll show you what I mean. What I have circled here is a ridge axis over the Rockies. Now this ridge axis is extremely important. On models where a powerful winter storm develops, specifically the GFS and the Canadian model guidance, and even the UK met to some point, it allows this ridge to, to build just enough to allow the trough in the east to dig and allow the storm, the, uh, the upper level disturbance that drives the storm to cut off into an upper level low and intensify and just explode. Uh, is it possible? Yes. It's very reasonable uh, to, to produce this forecast on the model guidance. It's physically possible. However, we have to be cautious. If this ridge that I have circled does knock down just a little bit, as seen on the European model guidance, then this storm exits out into the Atlantic. Instead of tracking north-northeast, it moves east-northeast. And the difference in that storm track will mean a foot or more along the, along the uh, New Jersey coast and throughout the northern Atlantic, or nothing at all. So uh, before we start getting worked up over this storm for Tuesday into Wednesday, yes there is a threat, yes it is possible, but any slight change in this forecast that we have in place right here, if this ridge is a little bit flatter, then this storm is out to sea. If the ridge develops just as we see here, with a little bit more amplification, the trough is able to dig more, the storm is able to cut off, and then we get a powerful winter storm on Tuesday night. So we're going to have to keep an eye on this storm. If it does occur, as suggested, expect anywhere from 6 inches or more throughout the entire northern Atlantic. And that more could be over a foot, once again, depending on the setup of this storm. We'll have to keep an eye on it. Thank you for visiting NYNJPA Weather. I'm your meteorologist, Stephen DiMartino. Have an excellent day.